Since Finland joined NATO, Russia has systematically threatened this small country. Here are just even smaller part of this bigger threat. Russia says it will respond to Finland giving U.S. access to bases. Russia-Ukraine war updates Putin says troops to be sent to Finnish border. Moscow warns Finland will suffer in latest round of saber rattling. The Kremlin, of course, believes that Finland has been a part of Russia's orbit for centuries, or maybe even forever. Moscow's attempts to take over the country have been in the past centuries. That is true. In addition, the Russian authorities are clearly irritated by Finland's principled position of supporting Ukraine from the very first days of a full-scale war. Helsinki is well informed about that. We have to recognize that Russia has changed behavior. Russia is aggressive, uses all kinds of hybrid tools against the West, against Europe. Petteri Orpo, Prime Minister of Finland, in an interview to Politico. So what are the strengths of the side? In case of successful mobilization, the Finnish army could put about 900,000 men and under arms. However, the active personnel that will meet the aggression in the first hours of the invasion is more modest, about 24,000. The Finnish army has 200 Leopard tanks in service. Also, it has more than 600 armored personnel carriers, almost 900 artillery systems, including multiple rocket launchers. At sea, the Baltic fleet can be opposed by 26 warships. They are missile boats, mine layers, mine sweepers. Russia, on the other hand, can threaten Finland with the 6th Combined Armed Forces Army, whose units are stationed along the entire border with Finland. It has about 60,000 soldiers and officers. They will be assisted by the Baltic fleet of 25,000 more. The exact amount of equipment of the 6th Army is not known. However, based on the usual staffing levels, it is possible to speak about nearly 800 APCs and AVVs and about 500 artillery systems, including Sonsepiok MLRS. Baltic Fleet has 26 warships and two submarines. The border between the states is quite long, it's almost 1,300 kilometers, but here Finland is helped by the terrain. Most of the border passes through swamps and lakes. However, what won't help Finland's capital, Helsinki? There is a highway from Russia, Vibod. Due to the specifics of the location of Russian military units near the border, we should expect attacks in at least four other places. However, again, however, it is Helsinki that will be the main target. The country's capital can be attacked not only by land but also from the sea, as the experience of the invasion of Ukraine, Chechnya and Afghanistan shows clearly the capital will be the main target. This will also unleash the Baltic fleet in military actions against NATO allies. Well, Finland only relies on NATO for the defense of its territory, but also enters into security guarantees with other states directly. For example, at the end of last year, the country's representatives signed the Defense Cooperation Agreement with the United States of America. It includes joint training of forces and military interoperability. Also, it granted the United States access to its military bases. Finland is also actively preparing for possible provocations by Russian intelligence. That's a very right thing to do. You should never underestimate the capabilities of the Russian intelligence service. They are skilled and we must be ready. Timu Turunen, acting head of Finnish security and intelligence service in an interview to SVT Nyheter. The country is obviously preparing for a possible war. Thus, Finland ordered four new warships and 64 American F-35 fighter jets. That is a serious machine power. In addition, the country plans to order up to 2,000 UAVs in the near future and is building barriers on the border with Russia. Finland spends 2% of its GDP on defense, which is higher than actually most NATO countries. It is me, Henry Keen, directly from Ukraine. For the ones who really pays attention to what is going on in the world, stay safe and tune for more very soon. Goodbye.